Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I know that everyone is doing great and we give God all the praise. Hallelujah. My people, this is a sad news. It has been confirmed that Pastor Taiwo Odukoya of Fountain of Life Church has passed on to glory. And he died in the United States of America at the age of 67. Pastor Taiwo Odukoya is the founder of Fountain of Life Family Church. And he co-founded this church with his first wife. And his first wife is Pastor Bimbo Odukoya, who passed on to glory on a plane crash 2005. That so so little plane crash, the first wife of this pastor was involved. And as at that time, their marriage was 21 years and they produced three children. And after that, her passing, after five years of mourning this great woman of God, the pastor. Pastor Taiwo took another wife, Pastor Nomti, from South Africa, and they were together for 11 years and they produced two children, Jomiloju and Timileni, my people. At the tail end of that 11 years, this woman of God, Pastor Nomti, was diagnosed of cancer and he battled it for two years. At the end of the day, on the 9th of November 2021, she passed unto glory. That is the second wife of Pastor Odukoya. And she died at the age of 47. Now the first wife died at the age of 45. After they had been married for 21 years. Pastor Nomti, which is the second wife, died at the age of 47, after they've been married for 11 years. Now, within that period, when the wife of Pastor Odukoya, the second wife, died, that same year, December, because the, the second wife died in November night, the same year, the twin sister of Pastor Taiwo, died at the age of December 65. Barely after two years, we are now hearing that he himself has passed on to glory. My people, honestly, this man has gone through a lot. And if God decides to ask him to come and rest, come let me wipe away your tears, nobody will query God. It's just that we are human. You see how I'm standing? I'm so weak. You know, honestly, this is not a good news at all. 67 years is not enough. It's not good enough for someone to pass. If it's up to 17, I was okay. But this is 67 years. And my prayer is that God Almighty will console the biological children, the church he left behind, and that God Almighty will sustain all the work that he has used him to accomplish here on earth. That the labor of his love will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. I think the body of Christ is supposed to be praying for this family. They have been through a lot. On a serious note. Let us pray for them that God will console them and comfort them. In the mighty name of Jesus. My people, this one weak meal, you see as I'm talking, I'm not happy at all. Because when I hear this news, I said, no, it's not true. It's not true. Don't say that again. And when I went to find out, I saw that the news eh, is all over social media. All the newspapers that I know, the Punt, the Vanguard, all of them has the news. And I became weak. You see how I am speaking? Please don't mind my voice. Don't mind the way I'm speaking. Honestly, I'm, I'm weak. 
support, we pray that God Almighty will strengthen the body of Christ because I can imagine what everyone that knows this man because he's a gift to this generation, especially in the body of Christ. We are going to miss him a lot because he has imparted life. I tell you, that is a life well spent. Oh God, oh my people, please pray that God Almighty will console them in a special way. In the name of Jesus. And please share this video. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please help me and subscribe, my people. Subscribe to support a sister. That's all I ask. Okay. When you see the video, share it. Give it a like. And God Almighty will bless you.